Hi, and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. A bit of a thing in advance. It might be that uh, at any time during today's episode, uh, I just have to quit suddenly because of the renovations going on, because they will uh, cut off the power and will uh, before that say that to me and I'll have to save my computer and just turn off the recording right there at the moment uh, you hear the doorbell ring. So uh, that might happen. But we're here to speak about the 40 stone. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. Here's the cursed stone that caused so much damage. It's old and weathered. But this isn't my stone. What? Well, this stone isn't from my quarry. See the grain? That's not from the weathering. The stone is from somewhere else. Did you send the last delivery of stone in smaller pieces? No. Why would we do that? We always deliver it in big blocks. It's easier for us. Well, that's odd. They told me they were glad you got them smaller pieces, so they had less work to dress it. But that's not possible. It seems the stone you sent never arrived and they got this instead. Unthinkable. I delivered the last shipment myself because I wanted to exchange a few words with them and nothing happened along the way. Then someone must have replaced them on site. But what would the builders have out of it? To replace it and then say we sent it? I don't think the builders know what happened. Most likely it's someone else who has their fingers in this. A thief? Sir Divish... Well, he's not wrong. Thanks to these... What happened with... A piece broke off one and fell on someone. And they blame... And... It's... We had that. It'll end. Take care. The other thing that we were able to ask again about... Tell the master bit about the or origin of the stone, so we have to do that also. So we'll have to... Ride... Back to Sassel. Which we're definitely doing right now so ta -da. let's let edge go suss out better i see you when i get there i'm glad to see you i looked around and the stone that fell on that man is different from the rest yes it's very poor but we have to work with what we've got. We didn't have anything else and we couldn't wait for more. That's not what I meant. It's not the same kind of stone that came from Talmberg. Someone must have switched it. But why would anyone do that? Well, maybe he was stealing new stone and replacing it with old stuff. Or to sabotage the construction, I don't know. But so someone had to take it out without being seen. <laughs> that huge piece of rock. It would take a few strong men to shift something that size. I know you're trying to help, but someone would have noticed. It couldn't be done without anyone seeing it. Your apprentice is behind it all, Master Builder. What? Leshek told me the skull was Zmola's idea, and he was responsible for the bad stone, too, and even worse things. Good God. Why would the lad do that? I always took good care of him and... Jesus Christ. Good luck, then. Okay, that's all I can tell him. And now I'm supposed to inform Sir Divish because we already knew everything. But they wanted to send me back here regardless. So back to the horse and back to Tarnburg. Well, see you in Tarnburg. And here we are in Tarnburg again. I've got good news, sir. The source of the problem was inside the monastery. There was nothing more to it. And the construction? We'll continue. The Master Builder's helper was to blame for everything. With him out of the way, the work will run smoothly again. That's good. You've accomplished your task admirably, Henry. And I should reward you for it. Thank you, Sir Divish. See you later. Um, Reward? Quest completed, the House of God. Reward? You said I... You said you want to reward me. Can't even talk to you again. Okay. Then I have to squeeze past you because I want to speak. Welcome, Henry. I'm glad you're here. To Lady Stephanie because I have all her stuff. God save. Can I help you with anything? 
I've brought the Rhone, my lady. That's wonderful. There weren't any problems with it, I hope. Nothing too serious. He's a little wild, but I was able to handle him in the end. Well, that won't do. Sophie can't have some wild horse at her wedding starting a stampede. But I've learnt a trick. If you sing to him, he calms down. You sang to a horse? It's quite true, I'm afraid. I sang to a horse. Well, then you'll have to sing something to me, too. My lady, I, I don't know if I... So I know how to calm down that roan. Go ahead, sing. <clears throat> to horses come roaming in the merry month of May. To graze in the shade of the apple tree there. Uh, the first one is brown and the second is grey. Which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? Oh, how beautiful! I'm not surprised the horse calmed down after hearing such a lovely voice. Anyway, I'll think about what to do with the roan. But thank you, Henry. I brought you the crown from the master engraver. Henry, you are a gem. Look at that Moldavite. Isn't it wonderful? Sophie will look like an angel. So what's next? I brought the wine. Wonderful, wonderful. No wedding is complete without good wine. Find somewhere here to put it down. I'll send for a servant to bring it later. I hope you had no problems acquiring it. Problems? Huh. I don't know the meaning of the word. <laughs> As if I didn't know you. What can I do for you, my lady? Nothing. You've done enough. And now I'd like to reward you. That's not necessary, my lady. You taking the time to see me is reward enough. Come now, Henry. No need for such modesty. I appreciate everything you've done for me. As well as your company. And there's something I'd like to give you. This shirt was my father's. He was built very much like you. Broad shoulders, strong chest. It should fit you just right. But... But I can't accept this. It's too valuable. It's too valuable to be left to the mercy of moths. It doesn't fit my husband well, and I've no one else to give it to. What's more, if you were to leave us again, I'd like you to have something to remember me by, so you don't forget me. I could never forget you, my lady. Well then, won't you try it on at least? What? Right now? Why not? Don't worry, I won't look. I'll turn my back. And what if your husband comes in? He won't. Neither will anyone else. All right then. God be with you. I feel truly blessed to have you here. So long I yearned for young company. I really feel God heard my prayers and sent you to me. Are you ready? My, you do look handsome. As fine as any gentleman. When I was a little girl, there were always lots of other children around and young men and women of the court. It was so merry. I always hoped it would be like that when I was grown up too. But... It was not God's plan. You and Sir Divish had no children? No. No, alas, we, we were not blessed. Twice I was with child, but they did not live. And now I fear there's no hope for me. My lady. Of course. Oh, forgive me, my lady. I, I shouldn't have. I don't mind. What beautiful trousers I have there.
whatever they're doing there takes apparently two hours. Can't imagine what they would be doing there. <laughs> And we got a shirt from Stephanie and we reached a new level in vitality. Yeah, how else would you get it? Uh, when did we get that black scarf? Apparently is part of the shirt combo. Given for personal services. And since we're here, we have to look what stuff they have in the chest. But this one interests me very much more. Lock is still too difficult. I fucking kidding me. I always have to be drunk for every every lock here. Mm. I'll have to do some runs. Uh, of unlocking a lot of stuff. Didn't it say easier chests are always... Okay, that's weird. Didn't we have a lockpick quest? For... What was that buff down there? Alpha male, your needs have been satisfied and it shows you're feeling self-confident. Too charisma. I think that charisma won't work against the Divish. Um, so we had a quest somewhere around here. Which is one of the thickest thief quests. We should could get the key, but the last time I was there, the armory was open. Yeah, it's still open. So let's uh, de-equip everything that's making noise. Here we de-equipped everything that's making noise. We can now try to go in here. Never try to go to the upper floor. Yeah, this chest is still open. There's a hard one. Hard ones we can do by our own without drinking. Did the dog just come down here with me? Waffen rocks for Voidzig. We can now just leave because they won't bother me coming out of this because this is not a trespassing but a private area. So, where had to, uh, I have to put all my stuff back on. I'll see you when I did that. Put all my stuff back on so that my charisma is back up to 17 again so that I can charm the guards. And we're now done with everything uh, that we had to do in Tarnburg. There's of course another quest nearby. The Huntsman has another quest. Uh, it was something about poaching if I remember right. Uh, but now I wanted uh, to continue down here towards... Uh, towards Müller Wojcik. I'll see you when I get there. Oh, we can ask Müller Wojcik for Is there work. Any work here for I'm not looking for anyone. Okay. I've done as you asked. Excellent, Henry. I look forward to the latest news from Talmberg. I hope Captain Robard rubs the commander's nose right in it. Have you got any more jobs for me? Of course. You're just in time. I could do with a horse, and since I'm setting the task, I'll go further. 
I'd like a strong stallion direct from the Merhoyed stables. Now that's no mean feat you're asking. As well I know. And well I'll pay. I'll steal that horse for you, but the rewards had better be worth it. Don't worry. But you'd best not come back with some old nag. Okay. So, uh, next up, we're not gonna go to, to Marriott now. Uh, we're gonna do that question later. It went up. Yeah, of course. Uh, next up, I wanna go uh, for a friend in need because we're nearby. So let's go towards Ledechko. Okay, I'll just uh, go along the side of the river and I'll see you once, once I reach the mill in Ledechko. And now we are where the mill is marked on the map. Let's try to speak to the guys. Ah. Jesus Christ be praised. Teresa, the mill maid, sent me. She said you could use some help. Some extra pairs of hands would be useful. What do you have in mind? My friends, two survivors of Scalitz, are looking for work. And why should I take them? They're experienced carpenters. Why not? Carpenters would be helpful. There's a lot of work here at the mill, and I'm not as spry as I used to be. Thomas, my foreman, tries his best, but he ain't up to that kind of work. But they aren't idlers and drunks, are they? I only take in people who are willing to do hard, honest work. They're good men, from Scalitz. Basically your neighbors, you have to help them. That's God's own truth. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Tell them I'll give them a chance. We'll talk about pay and a roof over their heads when they get here. May the Lord watch over you. And we found work for Matthew and Fritz. Tell them that you found work for them. Okay. Then... Continuing... Well, let's go to... Uh, I want to go to Matthew and Fritz now. But now that we're here, I want to go for the two quests that are on the way and just get the start of the quest. These two. Uh, by the way, there is another mill which has an activity giver, so I'm going over there as well. So I'm seeing you at each of these three spots. Uh, and then we'll go uh, to Matthew and Fritz. This looks like a really cozy place to, to live in. I'd love to uh, live in the in the woods like this. God preserve you, good knight. Can I do something for you? Good luck, then. First, let's see if you have anything that I want. There are a lot of potion recipes that I haven't read before. Okay. Preserver. That's for making fresh food. Poison we don't need. We already have that, by the way. Have the dog is against uh, alcohol. Pet food. Thief potion? Recipe? Why not? Bane is a potion. Uh, is eternal damnation. Good for hunting bears or poisoning the wells of foes. Yeah, that's for potion, uh, poisoning your weapon. What's embrocation? That's stamina recovery. Dollmaker. Beware of giving it to the healthy. Yeah. Okay, that's the only one that I want to to get here. Whatever. We wanted to talk to you. Is there anything I can do for you? As it happens, there is. Drahomira, a widow from Ledechko, requested my services. But it's a long way on foot. And me with my back in such dreadful pain. 
I simply can't face the journey. All the way from Ledetsko? What, they don't have a herbalist there? They do, but she didn't want a local. She's a rich widow, inherited a butcher shop. You know how folks like to gossip, especially about anyone who's better off than them. Do you know anything at all about exorcisms? Exorcisms? You know, banishing ghosts, smudging, spells. A haunted butcher shop. More than a day's work for me. It's not a task to be undertaken lightly. This is a real ghost. The spirit of a dead man who hasn't found peace. In order to banish him from the world of the living, you'll need to do a few things. Slit a black cock's neck on the poor soul's grave? What a despicable thought! No! Do you know what smudging is? You'll need ten poppies and some flowers from the deceased grave. Once you have all that, bring it to the house that's being haunted. Light it on fire, and the smoke will purge the place of any unwanted spirits. Sounds like fun. I'll help you. It's no game. It's a very serious matter. Drahomira was terrified. And these aren't forces to be meddled with lightly. Fine. Fine. Is there anything else I should know? That's a question for Drahomira. You'll find her in her cottage on the very edge of Ledechko. God be with you. Restless spirit. New quest. Whoa. Inventory? What the fuck? I wanted to see whether I can buy poppies here so that I have my 10 poppies ready for the quest. Yeah, I could, but I could also see how many poppies I have. I have one. Okay. That's why, he's, why she's selling 10. Directly buying the 10 uh, poppies. Okay. Collect on 10 poppies and talk to Dryer Mira. Talk to Dryer Mira. Okay. So next up, we're gonna go over to this, no, to this place where there's another uh, quest giver. So I'm seeing you there. By the way, that this is a real nice little forest path I'm riding on. It's really fun. So this is supposed to be another miller if I saw that quest, right? God save you. Is there any work you could give me? Mm, that depends. Maybe you haven't noticed, but we've got a bit of a problem. I'm listening. We've got a human captive we pulled out of the river. I've an idea what to do with him, but I need a little help. I have my own plans for him, but I need a bit of help. Uh, do you need a bit of help? How did you do it? It's not every day a miller's helper catches an enemy of the crown. That's true. My hands will be more than happy to tell you how they caught him. I'll help you. I've got some unfinished business with the Cumans. I'm guessing you're from Scalitz, then. I am. Very well, then. I plan to question the bastard and find out where he hid all the plunder he's been taking. All right. I'll get it out of him. Do you speak Hungarian? No, I don't. <laughs> then you won't get anything out of him. But if you want to help, you can. A little down the river is a mill. The men said there's a vagrant there who swears in Hungarian when he's playing dice. You could go there and find out if he knows any more than curses. All right, I can handle it. Thanks. Take care. During that... Uh... Conversation, it was so obvious to me that my stuff is damaged, so not bandage, next armorer's kit. Okay, blacksmith kit. Stuff is getting so much damage. If I'm actually taking damage, my stuff is really, 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 really damaged. Uh, also read that. Not the small one, take the big one. And my stuff is really, again, that damage that I'll have to ride towards a fucking town. I hate this. 
that it's once it's over 50 percent i can basically throw it away we get another perk point in maintenance the second to last perk point so we'll have to search here too less wear and tear less wear and tear and we have again our stuff that's the thing that's over all our clothing that's the one with the rough uh, stuff on our shoulder uh, showing the padding of the of the thing of the Japan uh, that's the thing that's so damaged a bit further down the river it's up the river where there's the oh that's the activity giver that I uh, wanted to go to regardless so Okay, that's just right there. Should just be a few. Are we taking the wrong path? Yeah. Yes, we are. Want to go over there, roughly. Okay, and there we are, where the miller lives. No, it's a bit further down the road. I came past here during the praying, uh, the the uh, penitence quest, the penance quest. So that's the miller over there already. And uh, let's speak to him because we want to have to work. We want to work for him and also learn something from him. God be with you. I'm Henry from Scalitz, and I'm looking to mill a bit of extra coin, if you know what I mean. Hmm. I expect Peshek sent you. And if it was Peshek who sent you, you can't be a complete dolt. I'll try you out. The tailor in Sasso has received some valuable brocade. Can you get it for me? No problem. It'll be here in no time at all. Good. It ought to be at his shop. Bring the whole bolt. You can also do stealth training as the other one. But it's here that we want to find a translator. Oh, while well, we're at the uh, at the tailor, we can all also repair our stuff. You. Ah, I heard you know how to speak Hungarian. But are you fluent? Ah, I speak it well enough. But why are you interested, brother? Where did you learn Hungarian? In the university in Vienna. I studied there diligently until all my coin was spent. So I'm traveling back to my home, Prague, to the mother of all cities, brother. I might have a job for you. A job? And I was hoping you were coming with an invitation to a drink or a message from my mistress. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, but I can offer you a few groschen for your trouble. Ha! Nehil boni sine labore. What? Here in Bohemia, they say... There's no bread not paid for with sweat. And yet they promised me easy work here. And nevertheless, so far I've been breaking my back. So first tell me what this is all about. I need someone to question a cumin. I can see you're not tongue-tied and you know Hungarian, so it shouldn't be a problem for you. Lord almighty, a cumin? Ah, but what does it matter? My employers here want to send me back on the road come the end of the week. How much are you paying? How much would you like? Well, the question is, how much are you offering? Fine. It sounds like a fair deal. And where do you have this cumin of yours? Have you heard of the mill in Virginia? Of course. I've won at dice against the band that works there more than once. Fine. Take your things and we'll go. And we're story fast traveling again. Oh god, this is longer taking longer than fast traveling. And uh, then then traveling by myself because it is taking the weird approach. But okay. And we traveled here. With the help of the vagrant, interrogate the human, uh, the human prisoner, not the human prisoner. Wonderful. 
I was almost starting to get bored. Starting to get bored, we just arrived. Tell him he has one and only chance to save his neck from the gallows. Huh? Tell him I know damn well he's got stolen valuables hidden somewhere around here. What's he saying? He well, asked. He seems to be resisting. He asked whether he was Hungarian. Tell him that if he tells me where it is, I'll set him free. Now, Mon, hold on. I want to make it. That's the get it. I can't let the dark kill them all over. Aha. Már gazdem érteni. Akkor jó, hogy értjük egymást. Jó figyelj, azzal a nagy várossal szemben a folyónál. Rattaira gondolsz? A nevét nem tudom. Egy nagy város várfalakkal, és van ott két vár. Szemben a folyó túlpartján van egy dom. Ha a város felé nézel, van mellette egy út. Azon az úton van egy kereszteződés, egy kiégett fával. Viszonnan egy kis ösvény. He's telling a lot. És lent a víznél van egy kivált fatő. És a ban van. Igen. Means yes. So, is he saying anything? Um, no, not really. He just keeps swearing. No. No, no, no. Tell him that if he doesn't say anything in the next few moments, I'll cut his throat right here and now. És hova küldjem? Pénzhelyét nem tudom pontosan elmondani. Így oda kell őt vinnem. Well now, he started to talk. He says he buried the coin somewhere in the forest, but he can't describe the place exactly. He says he can take it there, though. Fine. That's good enough for me. And now? Talk to the miller. Not follow the cumin. Talk to the miller. Okay. There are more hired hands. How did you take him uh, captive? Ask how did you manage to catch him? It's not like I underestimate you, but I can only assume he was armed. Aye, he was. But he had a bit of bad luck. I went for water in the morning, and all of a sudden, I saw a man on a horse riding through the ford. Halfway down the ford, the horse got wild and threw him into the water. I waded in and pulled him up on shore. And then I realized he was a Kuma. Luckily for me, he'd hit his head Okay, but I wanted to speak to the miller. Was apparently right on the other side of that wall. Want to finish this quest today? Because this, oh, this might be such a long walk, though. Whatever. Washing myself again, and there's the miller with another hired hand. We went to interrogate that human. Is that so? Tell me about it. You were right. He's got coin hidden somewhere. Ha! You see? That's the legendary Miller's instinct for you. The only trouble is, he can't quite describe the way there to me. He wants to leave me himself. So, what are you waiting for? Go with him. Get the money and bring it back here. And what to do with the cumin afterwards? Once you've got the coin, you can do what you like with that heathen. Right. I'll get going then. Good. And don't even think of trying anything underhand. If I find out you've cheated me, you'll rue the day. Don't worry, Miller. See you later. Okay. Go around the house again to pick up the cumin and go into the woods. I assume we're gonna fast travel and then something will happen. It's good that I have the dog with me at this time. He's been yelling that gibberish for his whole day. He won't give it a bloody rest. Come on, get up! Now, you're gonna be a good boy and show me the way to your fucking stash. 
And you better hope there's still something there to find. Egan. So where's he going? Maybe I'll recognize something awful uh, as soon as I realize where he's leading us to. He was washed up on that fort. So why was he riding so far away from his uh, hideout and from his camp? That's basically back all the way towards Tarnburg. On the other side of these woods must be Tarnburg. I mean, it's where the humans were until I drove them away. So... Uh, maybe this uh, quest is unlocked from uh, getting Best killing all the humans. Try to pickpocket him, which would be hilarious, as he's my prisoner. Come on, don't make this too long of a drag. Fucking dog went between my legs. Those are two hits, two enemies. I think he just got his clothing. Objective started. Capture the human? Where? He's not even anywhere around here. Got some Groschen. And blacksmith kit. That's all. So he did run past this or what? Yeah, he's over there. <laughs> like I believe you. I won't fall for that a second time, you Hungarian swine. No, no, I money, truth. All right, I'll try it one more time with you. But you better not have any more friends in the region. Thanks. Kusanam, Kusanam. Okay. No idea what Kusun Kusunum means but okay i'm interested to see where this quest ends i assume he will not lead us to another human camp he's not that idiotic he knew that his life has had ended there in ledechko no between ledechko that's where one of the cumin, not the cumin, that was where one of the bandit camps is, and that's where I can... Uh, where, where we could hear the weird uh, no, uh, bird noises that I said were bug or some misplaced speaker, but that's for the one quest. Fucking hurry up, man. This is your last try, you know that. Go faster, I said. Go fucking faster. There's another cumin down there. Are those persons down there or are those structures or like reed or stuff? If I would only speak Hungarian I would be able to understand him. That's near one of the woodcutter camps that we know. Come on. Show me something. I mean this isn't... This is not where a human camp could be because there's civilization right over there. So logically they can't uh, can't be here. 
Yeah, win the turn, eh? Fucking kidding me, Red, eh? It's a shame that you can't deactivate that DSC because it, that's really annoying me how it comes up every two days. Money, here. 800 Groschen, save your schnapps and an antidote. I've got care of chap. Again. Go. A good deed shouldn't go unrewarded. And I suppose you might call this a good deed. Take the human cash. Human cash and give the miller his half. It's the next. We're done with Lost in Translation. Okay. So now that we're here, we should just sleep in the Red A Mill so that we're safe. And then we'll continue with that. Every time I'm getting here, there's a, a, an ambush here. An obstacle avoid. Yeah, fail. Great. Fuck you. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go to Red A. Repair my stuff, sleep in the red hay sable to save, and we're, uh, I'm gonna read you a book now, and then we're gonna see us in the next episode with the next part of uh, side questing, uh, side questing, side questing, side questing. What an episode name! And today we're reading the Peculiar Siege of Prague because that title was peculiar. In the year of our Lord 1401, in the summer after the Prince Elector stripped King Wenceslas of the title of Holy Roman Emperor due to his inability and unwillingness to rule, the army of Jobs, Margrave of Moravia and the League of Lords appeared before the gates of Prague alongside the armies of William of Meissen with the support of Prokop, the cousin of the king, who was initially sent to William to discourage him from war, but in the end he joined with him. Together they laid siege to the town from two sides, from north and south, but their strength was not so great that they could take the town by storm or even to fully encircle its walls. King Wenceslas did not want to come out of the safety of the town walls with his army, so all the armies remained in place and waited to see what would happen, and none of those laying siege wanted to send their army against Prague to destroy it, for they did not wish to cause any injury to the kingdom of Bohemia, but only forced Wenceslas to capitulate and relinquish the crown of Bohemia. Sigismund of Luxembourg, who had been vying for the throne, remained at the time in the captivity of his own subject, and thus he could not come to the aid of either side. It is said that if he were to have some, uh, come to the aid of someone, he would have likely helped his brother Wenceslas, although he had warred with him at other times, because blood is blood and it would be preferable for the crown to stay in the family. The besiegers of Prague kept up their siege and even brought food and supplies to the people of Prague, for rowdy soldiers did not plunder the surrounding area and spared the farms. Seeing this willingness of the army, the army of Prague had no desire whatsoever to commit to violent deeds. Seventeen days did the armies lay siege, seventeen days did they negotiate and make schemes so complicated that many got lost in them and they began to conspire against each other. On the 17th day, Jobst and the League of Lords came to an agreement with King Wenceslas that the former will not have to relinquish the crown, but decision making and government shall be left to the nobles from now on and that he should endeavor no more to rule. William, seeing that no fruits would be born, retreated with his army back to Meissen. The peculiar siege ended without loss of life or injury. Loss of life or injury. The only one to suffer loss was Wenceslas, for the soldiers in the royal siege encampments had slaughtered all the game in the royal preserve to fill their bellies. And that was the peculiar siege of Prague that I was interested in. So, we'll see us next time with more side questing. Uh, the thing that I have in mind to do. First, I have a mind to do to get rid of that torch for shit. Thank you. What I have a mind to do is I will definitely uh, do Lost in Translation and give that away and also talk to Dromira in Ledechko on the way there. We'll definitely do that. But let's now go for Red Egg quest, which is 
not Simon's quest that is for the Sasso Tailor, uh, nor steal horses from the Marriott stables, nor get stuff stuff for the sword, but we could bring hair meat or hair skin. Okay, the camp leader of the uh, of the interlopers. Interlopers is a quest that I want to do at some point because it will make uh, traveling the roads uh, safer, I think. But what I was going for... Uh, rob the rich, give to the poor and thickest thieves, Peshek. The both, both the thief quests in uh, that I left here in Rete. We're gonna start next episode with them and then we'll see how much time is left. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.